Hyatt Ziva Cancun is known for its fun pools, Cove Beach, and great dining options. Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and I am here at Hyatt Ziva Cancun, a family all-inclusive resort. Let's take a tour. After your 25 minute ride from the Cancun airport, you'll arrive in the beautiful open air lobby. To the left is the food and beverage reservations desk. You'll, after check-in, you'll want to book any of these special events like hibachi dinners, romantic dinners, any of the cabanas, any of the mixology or wine tasting classes right here. But your check-in will start just across the lobby. If you're part of a special group, you may have a special semi-private check-in right when you arrive. Otherwise, the bellman will lead you into the check-in area right behind these automatic doors. Now, it's really important to bring a credit card because upon arrival, they will charge you six hundred dollars as a security deposit. The charge will be reversed at checkout, but sometimes it takes much longer to clear if you use a debit card versus a credit card. Heading across the lobby, we're going to head to Say Sale. Now, even though this sign says it doesn't open till nine o'clock, it actually opens at six. So this is a great air conditioned place to hang out. It's also a good place to take a mixology class. So you would sign up for that at that food and beverage reservations desk. We learned how to make one cocktail and how to come up, customize it to our taste. So this was a tequila, coffee liqueur, and chocolate liqueur martini, or you could have it over ice. Now in the evening, this turns into the party spot. So this is where the late night DJ would be. The lounge also has outdoor seating. So if you want to enjoy the great breezes coming off the ocean, especially in the evening, this would be a great spot for it. You have tables and chairs on the side closest to the lobby and then couches that span the entire way back facing the ocean. Heading out of the lounge, we're going to make a right to La Bastille. This is the French a la carte restaurant. It, we started with incredible bread. Then uh, my husband ordered the mussels that were very flavorful. The French fries were okay. The foie gras was recommended by the waiter. My husband liked it. I don't eat it. The octopus dish, the octopus was really well cooked, but the dressing needed a little more salt or acid. The French onion soup was very good. I recommend getting it if you're a French onion fan. I thought the filet was delicious. I ordered it medium. It came perfectly cooked and the fish dish was also very well seasoned and very well cooked. We got a nice surprise at the end of the meal when the waiter walked over and prepared a flaming coffee. I don't know how he knew this, but this is my most favorite thing and something I look forward to every time we come to Mexico. I don't know if it's the alcohol and the fire, the hint of danger, or just because it tastes delicious, but I love it. Heading back towards the main lobby, you get this great overview of this side of the resort with the swim up pool and bar, the large pools, the cove beach. You can see the cabanas. I'm going to get into the cabana locations and the fire pits as well as the pier. This is where you'll find the I Love Ziva Cancun sign. This is a popular photo op. And then heading down to this large staircase, this is where the evening shows take place. So they add cushions to this set of stairs and then where those cabanas are is becomes the stage for the show. So here, let me show you what that looks like. So here's everybody sitting on the stairs. Those red squares are the cushions that they pass out and you can see the dancers here. So this was a dance show. The two nights we were there, there was dance shows both nights with a lot of contemporary music, a lot of fun, high energy. Heading back the stairs, there's the check-in area on the right. You'll find a set of elevators that go down to the main pool level or go up to level three if you are booked in a turquoise room, which is the adults-only tower and section of the resort. One of the perks of booking into that category of room is you have access to this rooftop pool and bar, and it is worth it. I was so glad we upgraded to include include turquoise. It was nice to have a place to head where it was chill, just adults only. The bartenders are incredible. Shout out to Irma. You have lots of shade if you want it. And then you have this great infinity edge pool. The cabanas are numbered with number one being closest to the elevator and number four being furthest away. It is a bit of a bummer that the cabanas block the view from a lot of the chaise loungers on the pool deck, but I personally didn't mind that much because I spent most of my time in the pool enjoying this view. Heading down to level one, which is the main pool level. Here we'll find Moon Gate, which is the a la carte Asian restaurant. Reservations are not required except if you want to sit at this very long hibachi table where the chef's 
cook in front of you. If not, you can just sit at a regular table and order off the menu. We got a sample of the sushi. It was decent, wasn't amazing, but pretty good. The crispy chicken in this crispy chicken rice bowl was fantastic, super crispy. And then I really like the udon noodle bowl. It wasn't too spicy, it wasn't too salty, had really good flavor. And then here is the action starting. So they had three chefs along this very long table. If you're in a group, they have a nice long table here and then more hibachi tables on the other side of the restaurant. Heading to the right as you're facing the pool, we pass a tours, transfers, and experience desk if you need to book anything upon arrival. Pier 27 has pool toys, pool floats, sunscreen, cover-ups, souvenirs, anything you may have forgotten. And then Chevy the Diner. This is an American style diner. It has indoor and outdoor seating. It was open for lunch and dinner during our stay. I hear sometimes it may be open for breakfast and it has a fun menu. Now I was a little disappointed by the shakes. We ordered the vanilla unicorn shake and the chocolate donut shake and they weren't quite as festive as I thought would they would be. And they kind of tasted like carnation instant breakfast. The salad appetizers were good. I tried the mixed green salad and my husband had the chicken salad. The chicken was well cooked. The spinach was fresh and we both liked the dressing. I ordered the chicken burger, which was a very nicely grilled chicken breast and the fries were very good. And then my husband tried the Mexican hot dog, which was a good mix of spice but not too spicy. A good feature of the QR code menu is figuring out what's gluten-free, vegetarian, or vegan. So you pull up the QR code menu, you'll click on lunch, and that'll give you the lunch menu. But another thing you can click is lifestyle. So you see lifestyle there to the right. If you click that, it condenses the menu into what options are gluten-free, including gluten-free buns available, what options are vegetarian, and then what options are vegan. Now, obviously anything that's vegan is also vegetarian, but I think they just show you the differentiation so you have a better sense what to order. Next door to Chevy's is the Italian restaurant Lorenzo's. It was open for lunch and dinner during our stay. They make fresh pasta right in front of you, and they also make the pizzas in the pizza oven right in front of you, which is so fun. We went for lunch. It's a beautiful dining room. So the lunch starts with bread service with this delicious buttery focaccia bread. We ordered the caprese salad, which was good. It was a decent caprese salad. It had fresh tomatoes, good mozzarella. I ordered the chicken Caesar, which I thought was great, though it was a lot of cutting <laughs> to make the salad. The eggplant was like an eggplant lasagna, which was delicious. The pizza was good. This was the large size pizza. The crust, it was a little too crusty for me. The spaghetti and meatballs was very good. I would recommend them. And then the lasagna was very good as well. So lots of good Italian classics here at Lorenzo's. Heading out of Lorenzo's, you see the pyramid building. Now these rooms are considered resort view. So if you book a resort view room, it's going to be that section of the pyramid. And then this little area turns into La Plaza Ita with hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken, sausage to the right, you're going to find the dolphin pool. So there are dolphins swimming in this pool. You can opt to pay to swim with them. Um, if you're a person that does not appreciate dolphins in captivity, this is a really important thing to know before you book your trip here. Now, these rooms are in the pyramid and they are the dolphin view rooms, obviously, because you're facing right over the dolphin view pool. This pool here is kind of the kiddie pool. They set up some inflatables and obstacle courses during our stay. So that's kind of where a lot of kids tend to hang out. But then you have all these beautiful chaise loungers, very comfortable. I was really impressed with the furniture. I know sometimes you can go places and the chaise loungers feel a little rickety or they're older, but here they were great. The pads were very comfortable. For those interested in paying extra to reserve a cabana, this area is called Pool North or PN. This is cabana number one and the cabana numbers increase around the pool going counterclockwise. So towards the beach and then back around towards the building. The pricing for the cabanas depends on the package you book. There are several different packages you can get that have different inclusions. So I am not gonna include all that pricing in this video. You can reach out to me if you have booked your trip through me, or you can reach out to the hotel concierge for more information about what may be available during your stay. Now, having said this, I don't know that a pool cabana is necessary. I think it's a fun extra treat, but we didn't have any trouble finding chairs around the pools at this resort. There is no 7 a.m. pool game here. There's 
plenty of seats available for everyone. Now you can see we're looking back at that main resort, those steps where the show was. The swim up bar is right there to the left. We'll walk by it a little bit later so you can get a closer look. And now we're heading towards the beach. So this is North Beach. It's the small cove beach with the calm waters. This makes Hyatt Ziva so popular with families because generally in the hotel zone, you have rougher surf. There tends to be a lot of red flag days, but here at the very top of the hotel zone, that Ziva has this very unique location where they have this beautiful white sand and the calm waters to enjoy. Now you can see there's these special kind of over the water cabanas you can rent and we're looking back towards the lighthouse. The lighthouse is on the Hyatt Ziva property and then you'll notice the cabanas all our beachfront. So now this is where I could see you might want a cabana because they do have the prime locations along the beach with the chairs behind them. The numbering starts at Habaneros, which we're gonna go see soon, and then works its way away from Habaneros across the front of the resort. Here is where the non-motorized sports desk is. The non-motorized sports are included. You can sign up, um, take out a paddleboard, a kayak, whatever you'd like to do, you can set that all up here. And so now you can see a little bit better how the little tiny mini kid cabana and how the cabanas kind of take that, that ocean front spot. Habaneros closed on October 16th, 2023. And when I was there that week, there was not a timeline for reopening. I know. I'm bummed for you. We were some of the last people to get to eat there. They did say they'd be offering some of the menu items from Habaneros at different restaurants. So keep an eye for that. If you're staying there, ask about where it could be available. So I am going to share some of my favorites just in case you're still able to get them. So the Baja fish tacos, fresh fish, deep fried perfectly. I also love the tuna tostada. This is raw tuna. So if you're not a raw fan, you probably won't like it. The shrimp ceviche with octopus is so delicious and fresh. And then they have aqua fresca, especially the horchata flavor is my favorite. So you just want to ask for aqua, agua fresca, horchata. Delicious. Our tour continues. We are heading back along the beach, back towards the main pool, getting a closer look at those piers with the overwater cabanas, cabanas 11, 12, 13, and 14, and then heading out all the way down to 20. I'm going to cut back into the main pool. You can see there is a lifeguard stand. Lifeguards are available. Straight across from us is the swim up bar that is very popular throughout the day. And the upper pool with the lower pool. You can't get from one pool to another. There's no fun slide or anything. Coming back around the corner, we're gonna head all the way to the end of this side of the resort, just so you can see how the beach is down here. There are very few chaise loungers down here. It really is just reserved for these cabanas, starting with number 15, 16, sorry, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 are kind of at this far end. So if you were looking from the lobby out, we are on the far left side of the resort. And just past Cabana 20 and these chaise loungers, you find the fire pits. So this is a really cool area late at night. They like the fires. You can just hang out and enjoy the breeze. This section of the Cancun Hotel Zone has a lovely breeze it really makes a big difference. In fact, some days it was downright windy. So keep that in mind. Make sure you got those hats on tight so they don't fly away. Back here, you have a stunning view of the swim up pool. Uh, these are great seats if you just need a spot to throw, throw your towel and throw your bag because this is your view. Um, but it's a great entry to hang out at the swim up bar. Now I wanted to give you a closer look at what liquors are included because I know that's a common question. Maybe you spot some of your favorites there. Heading back inside the lower level of the main lobby building, we are going to explore the buffet. To the right, you can spy the outdoor seating that's available with the buffet, and then I'm gonna take you through it. So it's incredible. So here's the quesadilla stand where you can have quesadillas made exactly how you like them. Oh, and then you could head over and grab a tamale with different types of sauces. If you're feeling more Asian, there's a miso soup stand where you can customize your miso soup. They have the standard US breakfast. They're making eggs, omelets to order, eggs in the hole, eggs benedict, hard-boiled eggs, soft-boiled eggs, another type of Mexican tortilla soup. Here is all different kinds of stews. 
that are available. Then here's another egg station. So if you want omelet, scrambled eggs, any type of eggs made to order, or they have it pre-made for you sliced ham to order. This is the Asian section. So they had curries, fried rice, different types of stir fries. You can get chiquiquiles made to order to your liking. This is one of my absolute favorite breakfasts. And then more Asian fa favorites all the way to the side. Now, if you want general cereal, that's here too. All different kinds of cereals available, different types of milk. Here's the sweets station for your donuts. They also had this little tiny thing of gluten-free, which I love that they are packaged, so you don't have to worry about cross-contamination. If you're trying to eat healthy, there's a salad bar, an incredible fruit display. You also have your bagels, breads, different toasts. Then you head over to the cheeses, <laughs> the large different number of cheeses, your waffles, and your pancakes that they're making fresh right behind there all different types of toppings you can also get a crepe there is the meat station so you can make your own charcuterie make your own granola there's also a smoothie station i didn't even show as you head out of the buffet to the left are going to be the restrooms across from that in the morning this is a smoothie bar so made to order to your exact specifications in the evening it's a tequila bar now we're back at moongate so if you remember this is kind of where we came down so we're going to take the elevator back up. Here we are again, right in front of the area where you check in. Right next to that, you'll find the information on the programming. Heading down the hall, we'll find Trey Cervezas. This is the brewery and sports bar. Yes, there is an on-site brewery here at Hyatt Siva. They brew their own beer. It's also a great setting to watch a game. They played the games in the evenings here. There's pool tables. There was a live band in the evenings that made it really, really fun. While we were there, the beers on tap were a lager, a pale ale, and an IPA. And it has a good pub menu. So we really enjoyed the chicken wings. We also ordered the specialty burger. Now, vegans, close your eyes. I'm going to show this burger. We were able to get it medium. It had the egg, the avocado, the lettuce. They put the lettuce on the bottom, which is the sign of a burger professional. And right next to Teresa Vesa is the candy shop. This has the best reaction when people walk into it for the first time. It's absolutely incredible. Now, you do need to ask them to come around and serve you. This is not serve yourself. They'll come around, you'll take a plate, you'll just point at what the sweet treats you'd like to have, and they'll serve you. They have these incredible specialty chocolates. These are expensive. If you bought them back at home and they were delicious, the coffee one was my favorite. You also have very smooth gelato ice cream you can get in a cup or a cone. Heading through the candy shop, you end up in the coffee shop. So this also is a very popular location, especially first thing in the morning. They have all your different kinds of specialty coffees. Um, you can get iced coffee, lattes, and then in the mornings, right outside the coffee shop, you can find the churro stand. Heading out of the coffee shop, facing the pyramid building, we're just going to peer over and take a peek at the kids club. This is the part of the supervised kids program. Programming. You can drop your kids off and they will watch them for you. And they have a fun little splash park and slides. They also have a new golf simulator studio. You can sign up for that with the concierge. And down just the hallway from that is where the Playa Collection and the Tours and Excursion Desks are. The Playa Collection is the membership club. You know the drill. They take you into a two to three hour meeting, try to get you to spend a big sum of money. Across the hall from that is the fitness center. So if we walk down the hall next to the fitness center, to the left and down the stairs, we'll find the Pilates studio. Pilates were included. Uh, you just needed to sign up in advance. You needed to make a reservation. Around the corner is Moods, which is the teen club that has a lot of video games and interactive experiences, some virtual reality. So that's kind of tucked in here just behind the fitness center. Now, if we walk around the back, we're going to find some of the oceanfront rooms. So if you've been looking at the room descriptions, you've probably seen resort view, dolphin view, ocean view. These are going to be oceanfront. And the unique thing about these rooms is they are oceanfront, but not beachfront. So to the right there, you have the wedding gazebo. I'm going to show that from another angle as well next to the pool. And then you have the rocky coast that makes up the oceanfront side of the resort. So there's those swim up suites on the end. And then there's also oceanfront swim up suites along the side here. 
This is my favorite view at the resort. It is 100% worth upgrading from resort view to oceanfront view for these incredible ocean views. You can hear the ocean hitting the rocks. It's wonderful, it's more private. I have seen a stand-up reception right next to that sign before, which has a beautiful view. Hey, if you've made it to this far in the video, I wanna send you a little treat. So the first person to email Angie at tripswithangie.com will get a gift card. All right, we've come all the way back to the fitness center and we're gonna to head towards the Sahara pool now. So we passed a gift shop, we're gonna head up the stairs and this is the Sky Terrace. So this is really popular for weddings, receptions, private events if you have a big group. You overlook the Sahara pool area and beach. So this is the second pool at the resort and the second beach area. And you can get a glimpse here of the turquoise tower. And in that corner are the turquoise swim up suites. So if you're curious about what that looked like. Back down the stairs, we're gonna pass more gift shops, uh, souvenir type items, clothing, in case you forgot anything, sunscreen that's gonna be here. Heading into the turquoise tower, the tennis courts are located here. So this is not just exclusive to turquoise guests because you do need to access this lounge to get to the tennis court. So you're gonna go through the lounge and around the corner to the left, you'll find the elevator. Take it to floor number three, walk down the hallway. You are looking for rooms 317 and 318. Across from that, there's this weird set of stairs that goes to an odd looking door and voila, you're at the tennis courts. You do need a reservation to use the tennis courts. Heading up to floor number seven, we'll see my room 722. This is a turquoise ocean front master with king bed. So you have your king bed, the shower is open to the room, but there is that curtain that pulls across, two bedside tables, there's plugs next to the bed, a large television. Turquoise rooms come with a butler, so you will meet your butler on the first day. If you book Turquoise, I recommend downloading WhatsApp. It's an app where you'll be able to text back and forth with your butler. You can check on the iPad for the activities you wanna do or any dining reservations you wanna make. Your butler can make that for you. In room, you have your Nespresso machine, your snacks, you can grab an ice bucket, and then in the mini bar, you're going to have beers, sparkling water, regular water, and sodas. You can customize this. Out on the balcony is the chaise lounger and the whirlpool tub. Your butler will set up the tub for you. They just need at least an hour's notice or you can schedule it in advance. Now we're looking over the Sahara beach. So the second beach area at the resort, that small cluster of chairs is Hyatt Ziva. This area, the volleyball courts and to the right is not Hyatt Ziva. So that is not part of the hotel. And this gives you a really good overlook of the Sahara pool. We're gonna head down there in a minute, but you can see that wedding gazebo that we were looking at before from the oceanfront rooms. Heading into the bathroom, you can see the shower is open to the room. If you want, there is a curtain you can pull across. It's a nice large shower. You have the option of a handheld or a rainforest head. That's what it's called, right? Rainforest head? Okay. You have the two sinks and then all the amenities you need, shampoo, conditioner, soap, um, anything you might have forgotten. There's a hair dryer and plenty of space to get ready. Robes and slippers for use during your stay are available. There's also a scale, which I always think is weird at an all-inclusive. Laundry service is available for an extra charge. Then they have these weird cubbies. I think this is kind of a waste of space, but there is an ironing and ironing board and regular size drawers. The toilet is in a separate room. And then it's kind of fun that the closets open on but from both sides. So there is a safe on this side. Uh, the butler will show you how to use it or it's, you know, it's a standard safe. And then you can access the closet from this side of the room as well. There's also, you know, there's that weird cubby again with the iron and the ironing board. And then voila, here are, is the scale, the slippers and the rope once again. All right, heading back down. So we've just come out of turquoise. We passed the Zen Spa. Spa services are available for an extra charge. You can make your reservations directly with the spa. Uh, to the right, we're gonna find Trade Winds, which is one of the a la carte restaurants, but it does have sit down a la carte breakfast. And it has a really lovely waffle sandwich if you're into that kind of thing. I, of course, ordered chilaquiles, which is my absolute favorite, and these were especially delightful. I love that green sauce. It's so full of flavor. There is a quick breakfast buffet if you just wanted to kind of come in and have a quicker breakfast than ordering off the menu. They have all different types of pastries, some nuts, 
toast with different toppings. You can, you know, just cook it to your desired doneness. And then some pre-prepared items, yogurt parfaits, different bowls, and lots of fresh fruit, meats, and cheeses. Heading out of trade winds and we're going to go down the ramp this is the club tower so if you book a club level room you have access to this lounge and this tower and now we're going to head out to the sahara pool so we saw that from the room and from the sky terrace so i think you have a pretty good idea of how this all comes together but this is the activities pool so there's a bar here on the side there is not a swim up bar here so that's important to know but this is the pool where there's going to be the water aerobics the volleyball the in the pool spin classes, you know, where they put the bikes in the pool and then lead kind of a, a biking class. And then you have the two different level pools. Again, you can't jump from one to the other. Don't even try it. And the cabanas that go all the way around here as well. Towels are available right as you come down the stairs. And then you can see there's lots of chaise loungers. Uh, this is cabana number six. The cabanas here start with number one on the opposite side of the pool and come around clockwise. <laughs> so you can see why it's a little difficult to figure out the code of the cabanas. They go in different directions around each of the pools. But there's plenty of shade if you need shade with the umbrellas. And then you can just see like beautiful ocean views from the pool. You'll notice the cabanas have that prime poolside location and the chaise loungers are located a little bit further back. Uh, this is kind of similar to what we saw over at the North Pool. Just behind here is a large green area. The entertainment staff set up some games here during our stay and then that little palapia is for massages. I don't know that I would do that. Um, it kind of seems like you're in the middle of the action. These are the double decker family cabanas. These are only located on the Sahara side there. As you saw, there aren't any on the north side. Those obviously cost more than these regular poolside cabanas. And as we head around the corner, we are going to head out to the beach um, past a cute little fire pit area, which I think is so fun and romantic if you want to be away because this side of the resort is going to be very quiet at night compared to the other side where the show is taking place so if you're looking for a nice little spot to get away maybe look at the stars heading to this side of the resort is going to be your best bet down to the huge beach area that water here tends to be a little bit rougher so it's not going to be as popular as the cove side heading back to the pool here's cabana number one with the view back towards the building just to the side of that, you're gonna find a whirlpool and then just another view of that wedding gazebo. To the right of the whirlpool is another set of those double-decker family cabanas and another fire pit. As we head around the rest of the pool, you can see there's additional seating. You have great views of the turquoise tower. So this is the adults only tower. Next to that is the club tower. And then heading back, there's a little elevated seating here, but this is the resort. All right, so that is High Ziva Cancun. What did you think? Have you been there? Let me know in the comments. And coming up are a couple of videos I and YouTube thought you might like.